today we will discuss about gene libraries and screening before we see how we can construct a gene library let's see what main steps are required before designing a genomic library first is isolation and purification of genomic dna or bacterial artificial chromosome dna after isolation and purification we do dna sharing into 2 to 7 kb fragment then we remove our small fragment and perform size fraction after performing size fraction we select our genomic dna which we want to clone into a vector so we ligate our genomic dna into the vector and they form recombinant dna then we transfer this recombinant dna into the e coli through electroporation in electroporation we normally use calcium chloride after transformation we screen transform cells so for screening of transform cells we use blue white screening in blue white screening we can easily select our recombinant clone so after selecting clone so after selecting clones we design genomic libraries or cdna libraries then we do screening there are actually two types of libraries genomic libraries and cdna libraries and after constructing genomic or cdna libraries we do screening gene library is actually collection of different dna sequences from an organism each of which has been cloned into a vector for ease of purification storage and analysis gene libraries are basically of two types genomic libraries and cdna libraries genomic libraries made from genomic dna while cdna libraries designed from cdna which is copy of messenger rna so how we construct genomic dna libraries to design a genomic dna libraries these three main steps are involved first is purifying the genomic dna from either prokaryote or eukaryotes then after genomic dna isolation we do fragmentation by either physical sharing method or restriction enzyme digestion the third step is cloning fragment into the vector so in first step we purify our genomic dna to make a representative genomic libraries genomic dna must be purified and then broken randomly into fragment that are correct in size for cloning into the chosen vector so from eukaryote we prepare cell nuclei and from cell nuclei we isolate our genomic dna we remove proteins lipid and other unwanted macro molecules that are present in the cell by either protease digestion or phase extraction method but in prokaryote we can directly extract the dna from the cells so after genomic dna isolation we break dna fragments randomly the first is physical sharing in physical sharing actually we do pivoting the genomic dna again and again and mixing it continuously this will result in breaking the dna into fragments and the other method is restriction enzyme digestion here we use restriction enzyme that do partial digestion of dna and we get greater length of dna fragment now now the question is which restriction enzyme we will select 
We select restriction design that produce either sticky and or blunt end and the cleaved ends of the vector to be cloned. And time of digestion and ratio of restriction enzyme to the DNA is always dependent on the desired insert size range. Depending on the size of our insert, then we clone DNA fragments into the vector. So, which vectors we will select? We select vectors depending on the size of the insert. If our insert is of 5 kb size, we use plasmid vector. But if they are 23 kb, we choose bacteriophages. And if they are 45 kb, we will select cosmid. And if they are 1000 kb, we select yeast artificial chromosome. But most commonly chosen genomic cloning vectors are lambda replacement vectors which must be digested with restriction enzymes and they produce two lambda and fragment and between these two lambda and fragment we will ligate our genomic DNA. Here is our lambda phase genome. This middle one is the replaceable region. We restrict this lambda phase genome with restriction enzyme and it could create two arms, left arm and right arm and we insert our desired DNA fragment here. We select lambda phages because of the following reason. First is large number of lambda phages can be screened simultaneously and they has higher transformation efficiency about thousand times higher compared to plasmid and the vector also maintain slightly growth and lysogenic pathway and other viral genes are not important so we replace that region with our DNA which we want to clone so here is lambda phase genome this exogenous DNA cleaved with restriction enzyme and replaced with our desired DNA of insert. So, this is our human DNA. We do partial digestion by restriction enzyme into 20 kb fragment and also we restrict our bacteriophage DNA with BAM H1 enzyme. It removes the repressible region and then we do ligation. We ligate our desired DNA insert with the lambda vectors. So after ligation, we do packing with the mixture of phage code proteins and phase DNA processing enzymes. So recombinant DNA package into the phage head and then these bacteriophages infect E. coli cells and they form plaques. In this way we construct our genomic DNA library. So it's all about genomic DNA library. In next lecture we will see how we can construct a cDNA library and then we study screening procedures. See you in coming lectures.